I walk around here, man. I'm coming down. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Now, how well do you know Lamont? This isn't a case where it's like two friends are fighting each other, is it? It's something like that, but at the end of the day, it's business first. I mean, I got a family to feed, I got kids to feed, and things like that. So it's business first, friends come later. Does this make the, the fact that you guys are friends with us? I was the face off because you know him and Peterson are friends, but that one was a little bit more intense. Like, did, was there anything there? Could you feel the intensity? It looked like he wanted to keep going. I'm saying the co-main. I don't think it's nothing harder than fighting your hometown. When you fight your hometown in front of the people that he bring out, I mean, the people he bring out a lot of people. So fighting your hometown is a lot of pressure. Like me fighting my hometown first time, it was a lot of pressure. Everybody tell you to knock him out. You hear everybody screaming. <laughs> You can call you same day, talking about tickets and stuff like that. So, I mean, it, it's a lot of pressure fighting in the hometown. I'd rather fight, when my, when my crew first started, I'd rather fight, you know, somewhere else than fighting at home because you know, I ain't feel like going through all the hassle. Who's your fight in the UK? They throw brownies at you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody threw a brownie at me. <laughs> you still understand what that chocolate brownie means or still not? I don't know. You do want a hometown fight this year, though, is that correct? Oh, yeah. Hopefully after this fight. Earl, how was the sparring session between you and my Peterson? Do you recall? It was good. It was good. It was great. It was a long time ago, man. What year was that? It was when I was an amateur. It was long. It was like seven years ago. It was a long time ago. Which one did you go Who I look, who I look up to? Uh -huh. I mean, you gotta put Roy Jones at the top. When I was growing up, Roy Jones was Superman. You know, Roy Jones, I mean, Zab Zuda, Vernon uh, Forrest, of course, Floyd Mayweather. Terry Norris? Yeah, Terry Norris. Yeah. Yeah. Name is what about you, Robert? in the same weight class, Roy Jones or Floyd Mayweather. Who wins? <laughs> you sparred you sparred Floyd and we've seen Roy Jones do his magic. I mean, I don't know, because I mean y'all think about today's Floyd. Floyd back then, you know, was a different fighter. Yeah, I mean he was a box puncher. And uh, I mean Roy Jones back then was Superman, so I mean I don't know who win there. I got another one for you on Instagram. Floyd said he would get Sugar Ray Leonard with that one. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. What do you, what do you guys think about that? I mean I mean, why wouldn't he say that? I mean, all the records he's broke and all the fighters he's beating and things like that. He kind of said TV. Why wouldn't he say he'd be shit right now? I'm going to have that confidence. Do you feel the same way? Huh? Do you feel the same way? I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to see that yeah. I like to no, see I mean, you're about yourself. Do you feel like you could have been in there with the Golden Era guys? Yeah. As a fighter, you got to have that type of time. He's got no own goals there, right here. As a fighter, you got to have that type of mentality. Do you purposely wear big clothes to hide your size? And I notice in a lot of your fights, you wear. Nah, I get heavy. I'm a big guy. Uh -huh. Like these things, these my, these my, uh, my training campaign. <laughs> these my training campaign. Like I can't wear at the fight. I can't wear these pants. Like, so what's the walk around weight? Huh? Can you give us a number? I mean, it's up there. <laughs> Tony. 
you going to 54? What'd you say? Uh, I guess I still like to do it at 147. Uh -huh. so. Maybe. Is it easy to make it for you? 147? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of discipline, man. It's a lot of discipline, a lot of, you know, watching people eat and things like that. It's just a lot of discipline and stuff like that, but I make it pretty easy. What, what have our squads with uh, Charlo? Is it a bigger dude? Do you spar also a bigger dude to get you from Selling himself right now. I mean, I'm a big fan of Cotto. I remember Cotto from back in the day, and Cotto was Cotto was a beast. Now he's all the fight. It's the reason why this was his last fight. You know, this was a very well fight. You know what I mean, congratulations to Saddam Ali for you know, you know jumping up to it and, and taking it. But uh, you know, I don't think that was you know the Cotto that from back in the day. So what would be the outcome if you was fighting him that night? Like, how would you predict that fight? It's Spence versus Cotto. I mean, I don't know. I mean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all see what Sadan did? I don't know. I heard, I heard Mel was calling out Sadan. Yeah, Mel was calling out Sadan. He called out Kodo too. Ain't seen them all. They ain't come to see them. Nah, they ain't come to see them. So I mean. How challenging is it for you to make 35? Uh, not that challenging. Like he said, it's all about discipline. You know, cutting the right food. Or cutting the bad food. This is your for everyone's here. What happens with Mikey Garcia? Can you tell us like the real truth? Did he, was there ever a proposal? Did he come to you? Ne yes, no? <laughs> uh, we're not gonna speak about that. You know, I got one uh, goal man, and that's uh, B Nobby on the tour side of it. That's, that's it. I know you're close with AB, AB fighter right here. AB's talking about coming back and taking over 140. We've heard it from him before. Can you give us a little insight? I know you guys are boys and all that. Like, are, are you gonna like try to give him that incentive? Uh, uh, AB fighter, okay. Uh, but are you uh, about billions? I'm about billions. All right. That is my temp this is my temperance. You know, I gotta rock with the hometown guy, that's Deontay. Cause all the guys from UK rock what they do. Uh, would you call uh, Deontay one time for me? <laughs> <laughs> Hit, man. Anybody, I tell people all the time, man, you punch like that, I mean, 
He gotta be famous. If he hits you one time, I don't matter where he hits you at, man. What's that dude he hits? Oh, uh, Spilker. Nah, the, uh, the black dude. The bird? The bird. Nah, I'm gonna tattoo. A lot of tattoos. Uh, Scott? Scott? Malik Scott? Yeah, Malik Scott, man. Like, he barely hit Malik yeah, Scott. Yeah, yeah, his boy. Yeah, I mean, that's the When the ref, when the ref yeah. jumped and he was still swinging, he was. Uh, them, was them, them misses was hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but the way he be knocking dudes out, man, he could end up killing somebody, man. Cause the way they body react when they're on the ground, they just be like, it's uh, crazy, man. Spence, you, you've talked about, you talked about moving up to 160 potentially. Do you, do you see yourself potentially maybe fighting for another 160? I could. I could. I could do that. Is that a super fight you would take tomorrow if it was presented after this? I could. I could. I could. I could. Right. Canelo's not a big guy either, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's like, he's like your side. Did you present that offer to Golden Boy? If I take nah. this photo fight, you get me? I didn't present, I ain't even getting the discussion with Golden Boy. I was just like, get it. I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. I, I, I'm with Al. I made my money out. Al's for my best interest. You know, he's like, when I when I used to talk to Al, especially when I signed with him, like, he was talking to me about uh, securing, my, uh, securing my family. He was talking about stuff after boxing and things like that. I'm, 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 what's that? My, my chef, my oh, chef. Chef. I mean, what do you think? I thought somebody was on the phone. <laughs> No, it was Al on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Al was talking about securing my future. I mean, securing my future and things at the box and stuff like that. So, and I'm for somebody who's the best interest to me. So, I mean, you know, I'm happy with Al. I'm happy with who I'm with right now. I'm happy with my team I'm with right now. So, I'm not thinking about signing to no promoter at all. Mm -hmm. You think Canelo gets Triple G match? I think so. I mean, he's like he got tired um, in that fight with Triple G. He's like he got tired like six, seven rounds. So. How do you see if he's in shape, I think he'll be. How do you see the outcome? The I don't know if he in shape. I mean, Canelo was making a miss, counter, and everything. So if he stays sharp in the second half of the fight, he should be. Is it, is it special, I like Canelo. Is it special fighting in New York City, champ? Yeah, it's special. I was born here and I got family here. My grandma's sister here. Yo, the thing I like about you is you have my grandma 94. My mother be 89. On the I think it's about a fall, man. <laughs> Oh, are you live? I'm live on the radio show. Hey, what up? What up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champ, can, can you talk? Oh, okay. What's up? Can you talk about your sense of history? <laughs> you know, you have a sense of history. Put it in his mouth, right? Can you help me, bro? Um, the sense of history, I mean, the history deep, man. Like, boxing being forever. And, you know, just to be following the footsteps of, of the greats, like Ali and Ray Leonard and guys like that, and guys I'm looking to, I mean, it's an honor, you know, and, um, you know, I'm trying to fill those shoes and do the best I can to be, you know, mentioned with those guys. How about them Cowboys? Oh, man, you know, it's Cowboys Nation. Dallas Cowboys. We'll be back, man. You know, we had a lot of illegal issues and stuff going on with our, you know, with different people in different positions on offense and things like that. But we'll be back. And I got to go, too, man. I'm hungry. 